What's up guys? In today's video I'm going to show you how to repair a broken latch in a microwave door. So as you can see here, our problem is that this door in this microwave no longer stays closed by itself. I'm going to show you what the problem is, how easy it is to repair with minimal to no tools, and you should have it done in under five minutes. So as you can see here, this door no longer stays shut by itself. To use this microwave now, we can sit here with our hand on the door and keep it closed for it to function. Obviously it's not very convenient. The problem here lies with this latch mechanism. Right now, as you can see, it's very sloppy. There's a spring inside here that usually keeps this tensioned in the downward position. What happens is the mount for the spring has probably broken off. I've done this repair a few times in several different models of microwaves. This one happens to be a GE, but I have done this repair in a Samsung and one other type of model I can't recall as of the moment, but uh, they're all relatively the same. If you have a latch mechanism similar to this with basically two plastic uh, latches that stick off the door, you can rest assured that you probably have the same mechanism inside your door that I'm going to show you here. So basically to get started here what we have to do is get access to the actual mechanism inside and what we have to do is pry off this trim panel that runs around the inner lip of the door around the glass. Uh, this isn't held in with screws or anything this basically clips I think there's probably about eight or ten clips around the perimeter of the door here. What you're gonna go ahead and do is use a screwdriver and you're just gonna pry basically along this inner edge here of this black piece of plastic trim. Now, hopefully you have a screwdriver, it's a pretty basic tool. If you don't, you could probably go ahead and also use a butter knife on this, and that'll do the job as well. So basically, just get in here with the screwdriver, and you just gotta work it loose. Do it gently, you don't wanna break any of the clips if possible. If you do break a few, it's really not that big of a deal. There's a bunch of them that hold this thing on here. And you can see that once you get in behind this, this whole thing basically just pops right off of here. Again, be gentle with it. It's only plastic. These things get brittle as they get older. And the uh, last thing you want to do is go ahead and break anything, okay? You really don't need to pull the whole thing off. Probably easier in a lot of cases not to pull the whole thing off because then, like I said, you're going to risk breaking some more of these clips. You basically just got to get in here to work on this section of the door right here. So I think for purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and take the whole thing off. It'll be easier for me to show you what I'm doing. But if you're doing this again on your own microwave and not filming it, you could do all your work by just having this thing somewhat loose like this. All right, so there it is, trim panel off. You can see what I'm talking about, how this thing is held on. It's got all these little, I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but it's got all these clips like this that uh, basically snap into the perimeter of the door. Okay guys, let me give you a closer look at the problem here now. This latch assembly basically just pops right off the door like that. Nothing holds it in place except for these posts. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. If you look inside here at the door, you can see there's a hole up top. And here's the lower hole here as well. Okay, so that basically just slides in there and moves up and down inside those holes. The spring itself, which keeps tension on this latch, is right here. Okay, and what happens 99% of the time when this thing breaks is you can see the lower half of the spring is supposed to attach inside the door right here. And what happens is that piece of plastic where it attaches breaks off. And the spring doesn't put tension on this anymore, which is why it's loose, which is why the door doesn't stay closed on its own. All right, so basically we have to rehook this spring on a different portion or a different area on the door here. If you have that broken piece of plastic, I'm gonna save you a lot of time. Don't try to glue it back on there and hook the spring back on. It's just gonna break off again in a short time. What you wanna do is just hook the spring on a different part of the door here. Now, I said 99% of the time, that's what breaks. The other 1% of the time, the actual latch here itself that tab right there breaks off okay and what you're gonna do if that breaks is just take this and drill a small hole somewhere right in here that you can hook that spring through and that will repair that section okay again don't try to glue that back on it's just gonna break again there isn't any glue that'll be strong enough to uh, to hold this together all right so let's get to the repair now and how we're gonna fix this so what you're looking at here now is obviously the inner part of the door okay where my finger is here right now is where that broken tab is that used to hold the bottom half of the spring here in place what we're gonna go ahead and do is hook the spring basically on this metal piece right here. See these like indents on here and these tabs, this thing is metal. Be honest with you, from the factory, they should probably just put a hole right on that and hook this on there and not use that plastic tab because like I said, this is a pretty common problem of having this break. But for whatever reason, they don't. But like I said, this is an easy fix anyway, so it's not a big deal. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is, like I said, hook that on there. And basically all we're gonna do is hook that under there like that. And then I usually just take both my hands, you can't really see it on camera right now, but I got one hand 
on the bottom hook here on the latch and I got my other hand on the top and you're looking just to lift this up gently and just slide it back into place put those two posts into those holes on the door okay just like that okay give you guys a shot now of this repair and you can see that we restored the operation of this latch now the way it was originally before that piece of plastic broke off real simple took us under a minute no tools no additional parts to buy and all we have to do now is just snap our trim panel back on the door now just like when we took it off when you're putting this back on just be gentle, you don't want to break any of those tabs off. So basically just take your holes here where the latch assembly is and put the put the latch through them and just work your way around and snap it back into place. Be gentle if it doesn't want to go right away, pull it back off and see what the problem is and usually your second try you can get everything uh, good to go. All right, so you can see we got the trim back on, latches working the way it should. The final test, it latches shut now by itself again, no problems. Okay, simple fix, doesn't take you very long, no tools, best part of all, it's free. Don't pay attention to the clock, I think I started this back when it was around like 12.30 or so. Obviously I had to do a couple takes here, didn't actually take a half an hour. Like I said, if you're taking this apart maybe for the first time, it shouldn't take you any longer than 5-10 minutes to do. Nonetheless, very easy fix. I hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, I appreciate if you give the like button a tap. Maybe you want to check out the rest of my channel. I got a bunch of other how-to videos on there. If you have any questions, post them down below. I try to answer them all the best I can. And as always, thank you for watching.